Today I'm going to show you how to take a Google Slides presentation that you've already created and embed it into Moodle for a presentation. I'm um, also going to show you how to upload an existing PowerPoint to your Google Drive, convert that to a Google Slides, uh, which could also be embedded into Moodle. All right, so here you'll see I've got a presentation that was put together already in Google Slides. You can tell it's in Google Slides from this icon here. I uh, went through and added in on the different slides, text boxes, images, um, was even able to add in animated GIFs that will also um, display and run properly inside of the Google Slides platform. All right, so I want to share this so that anyone with the link can view. I want to make sure that that's already been uh, established. So it has, I can now present this in a new window so that I can get this URL, which I'll be embedding into Moodle. So copy that, and then I'm gonna to go to my Moodle page. I'm gonna to scroll to where I wanna embed this. I'm gonna add a URL link, which is gonna be the link to our presentation. And I wanna add that right here. Paste that in, call it something, slides. Example, we're gonna add text into all the areas that have the asterisks or else it won't allow us to continue. I'm gonna change the appearance to be in a pop-up and I want it at 1280 by 720 because that's the screen resolution of the presentation. And then I'm gonna say save and return. Now, we'll turn editing off so we can see how this looks from an almost student's perspective. Somebody can click on this. It opens up the presentation. You can click play. And then any transition saved with the presentation will play automatically. Uh, in this case, it was just a basic flip and uh, timing of a few seconds in between each one. Viewers could pause it. They could advance on their own, forward or backward. They could advance to a specific slide if they wanted to. They could make it full screen if they wanted to. They could also download this specific file as their own PowerPoint locally to their desktop or as a PDF. Um, if you download it as a PDF, it won't retain the action and animation inside the GIFs, but in the PowerPoint, hopefully it will. It depends on the formatting. All right, so that's how you embed a Google Slides presentation into Moodle. Now, how would you upload an existing PowerPoint? Well, let's get rid of this. And we'll go back to your email. You'll know you're in your email with the Cuca College logo. Go over to your apps bar and go to your drive folder. Now from here, you could just create a new Google Slides document, but in this case, we're gonna upload an existing PowerPoint. So I'm gonna locate that PowerPoint on my desktop. I have a test PowerPoint ready to go, which is the Cuca College template and a couple of text boxes. So I'm gonna drag this right into my drive area. You'll see it uploads rather quickly depending on file size. We can hit locate and it'll take us right to the file. Now, Google Drive allows you to store pretty much any file type in it. So this is stored as a PowerPoint file. You could then share this out and just share this PowerPoint file or we can convert this to a Google slide. Now when this happens, some formatting issues can come into play, which is why I created mine inside of Google Slides already from scratch. You can upload PowerPoint slides, um, but depending on the type of text you used, um, type of formatting you used, some things may not transfer. Um, in this case, the text transferred. Each one of these text boxes is here. Um, looks fine. The, the artwork is bleeding off, but that won't matter once we present. So just like with the first Google presentation, I'm gonna check that I've shared it properly. This is shared only to me. I wanna change that so that it's anyone with the link can view. You could also say anyone with the link could comment or edit, but in this case, we just want them to view this presentation. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna say done. And now my presentation, if you hover over this, says shared with anyone with the link. And just like before, you can present in a new window. There's your PowerPoint. You can copy and paste. 
your URL into Moodle just as we did the first time around. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to embed a Google Slides player right into Moodle so that you can see the presentation without clicking another external link. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is click on Publish to the Web to get the options to get a link or an embed code. We want the embed code. We wanna make this a smaller size. Advance the slides every three seconds applies whether or not you've automatically add transitions in. We can start the slideshow as soon as the player loads and we can have it continue and reload. So let's get the embed code. Are you sure? Yes, I am. All right, here's our embed code already highlighted for us. We're gonna copy that and then go over to our Moodle page. I'm gonna make sure we've got editing turned on. I'm gonna go to where we're gonna add the activity or resource. And this activity we're gonna add, or I'm sorry, this resource is a label. Click add. And when the label box comes up, we need to make sure that we toggle on the other toolbars so that you see all of the tools. This one here is our HTML editing editor. We're gonna paste in the embed code, hit update, and you can see it went in. We're gonna hit save and return. And now students will see the presentation right inside of their Moodle page. So you can have either a link out to it uh, so that it's larger, or you can have it just play right inside of Moodle. The beauty of this, any changes you make to your Google Slides, it stays in one area. And then any place that you've linked out to, such as into Moodle, the changes update automatically. So you only have to make the changes in one location and then anywhere else that you've linked this document to, it's, it's consistent. Mm -hmm.